Hello and welcome to Engineering Sustainable Photographic Processes. In this video we'll be learning how to make anthotypes using spinach and blackberries. This video is supported by the Royal Academy of Engineering and is also in collaboration with Dr Leah Nani Alkinsell at the University of Birmingham. The anthotype is a process which was invented by Sir John Herschel in the 19th century and it's an environmentally friendly process that uses plant matter and water which is then applied to paper in layers. The paper is then exposed to light for over a period of anywhere between six hours to three weeks. You are then left with a beautiful print. So come and watch this video and see how to make anthotypes. I hope you enjoy. Here are some things that you will need. A blender, some spinach, a pestle and mortar, a jug and some water, a brush, a sieve or a piece of muslin to filter the plants through. First of all, grab a handful of spinach and mix in with some water. You can then Blend with the blender to make a thick paste. If you haven't got a blender, you can use a pestle and mortar to make a thick paste. It takes quite a bit longer to make anthotypes using a pestle and mortar, but it's really fun, so give it a go. You should grind the leaves until they are completely broken down. You then put the leaves in your sieve or through your piece of muslin and this filters out all of the little bits and it means that you get a really fine paint or emulsion that you can then put onto paper. The liquid then drops down into the jug below. You can gently press on the material to encourage the drops to go underneath. We are now going to repeat the process but using blackberries. You should gather your blackberries and start putting them in your pestle and mortar. After squashing the berries, you can then repeat the process, letting the drips of the berries go down to the jug below. You can see it dropping down to the jug below here and this is what is going to make our fine paste. First, dip the brush into the liquid. Make sure you get a lot of material on your brush and then you can dab it on the top of the jug to remove any excess. You can then coat the emulsion onto the paper. In a similar way to the cyanotype video, we will do one horizontal layer and then one vertical layer. We would like to build up pigment, so I recommend doing about four or five layers, leaving the layers to dry between each application. You should do exactly the same for blackberries. Next, I will show you how to expose the anthotypes with sunlight. For spinach anthotypes, your exposure should be around six hours in full continuous sunlight. For blackberries, you'll need a lot longer. You'll need around three to four weeks. Again, you'll need to build up layers of pigment so that you get a nice bright color. The sunlight then bleaches the colour. This means that when you put a transparency on top, which is a positive transparency, the light bits go lighter and the dark bits stay dark. I am layering up two positive transparencies on top of the dry anthotype paper. The sunlight will pass through the light areas 
and leave the dark areas dark. I will leave in the sunlight for at least six hours. This is the result for my six hour exposure using spinach. For blackberries, you should do exactly the same, but you should expose for at least three weeks. Anthotypes are a completely natural and sustainable process, however they may fade with time. The amount that they fade will change depending on how long they took to expose in the first place. For example, the spinach anthotypes will fade much faster than the blackberry anthotypes. Engineering sustainable photographic processes has been supported by the Royal Academy of Engineering and is in collaboration with Dr. Leah Nani Alkinsell at the School of Materials and Metallurgy at the University of Birmingham. In the next two videos, you'll find out how to make caffeinol coffee developer and how to make a pinhole camera. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and please do share your results if you do make an anthotype.